everybody. Frank back here with you again. Welcome back to the channel. Sorry we didn't have any videos last week, but work made it a little bit difficult. This week it is custard week. The week that everybody's been waiting for. We're going to do my personal favorite top six custards. And this week, I mean this first video, we're going to start with number six and number five. Number six is Vanilla Custard from Flavora. And number five is Inawera Custard. That's right, Inawera Custard. All right, Flavora Vanilla Custard. Hair is excellent with the new Flavora RY4. Pairs well with Flavora Butterscotch. It pairs well with a lot of darker flavors. You can probably vape it by, your, by itself. I've just never done that. It's one of, let's say, it's one of my, it's my number six favorite custard if I have, since I've kind of been forced to rank them. But I mean, it's a, it's, a, it's one of the darker custards. It works, let's say, it works really well with, it doesn't work well, real well with fruits, but it works well with other types of flavors. Now, anywhere custard, on the other hand, that one works well with everything. It works well with fruits, it works well with, nuts with coffees with tobaccos with other creamy dark flavors i mean it just it's it works really well with everything and you're talking five to seven days steep time on each of them the vanilla custom room flavor may be a little bit more but because a lot of you know depends on what you pair it with and when i did my R, uh, flavor ry4 mix a couple weeks ago it was great off the shake and it I wanted it to steep, but I should have made a second bottle because it disappeared in like three days in a big tank. So let's go down. Let's see what some other mixers have to say about these two amazing custards. Then we'll come back up on top and wrap it up and we'll be done. All right, let's go, everybody. All right, here we have vanilla custard flavora. Contains acetone and diacetyl. That's why it's so damn yummy. Average mixing percentage, medians 2%, five single flavor. I don't know. I've never did single flavor. Two is yeah, two is a decent spot for it. If that's gonna be your main note and then your you know your main custard base. Uh let's see at four percent. Someone's saying a little funky tasting. Uh after a week it developed well. A vanilla creamy flavor is definitely I'm getting some of the heavy feel of a custard in two weeks it doesn't get faded some three it's pretty good a bit of a bite four weeks well it took a while but now it's nice a, a light vanilla pudding type flavor let's see who else mystic rose solo six to eight percent one to two percent light in a mix three to four percent heavy uh yeah i can't agree with these you don't need to run it that high. That's the thing with Flavor. It's a, they're ultra concentrated or super concentrated at the least. And you don't need to go anywhere near these percentages for this flavor. Just not at all. I mean, there's no there's no point in it. I mean, even years ago with lesser, you know, stronger atomizers, you didn't need to do that. Like Mix a lot says Tastes like flavor is vanilla pudding, but a little bit more buttery and creamy, not very eggy, very smooth, a lot of vanilla, frosting like or Oreo cream, and prefers two and a half percent. All right, let's look at some uh, pairings. Let's see anybody let's see a single flavor five percent. Other people doing some other pairings with it. Talk about some other notes. Okay, you see. Most commonly paired with flavor of cream, cap vanilla custard, and wear a biscuit, super sweet, flavor of butterscotch, cream fresh, meringue, TFA Bavarian cream, milk and honey, and swirl, all hail to swirl. Let's look at some of the top rated recipes. It has 630 public and over 10,000 private recipes. Let's see, here's a Ras Raslicious from Save Us. as a five-star review, 18 reviews. Oh, this one's a busy recipe. 
is using it here at 1.5% with some swirl whipped cream, sweetener, sugar cookie. We've got three raspberries in there. Got some marshmallows, some graham crust cheesecake. That's a busy, busy, busy mix. 14.5% total flavoring there. Uh, Mixtress Rin banana put-in, which is probably the, one of my favorite banana mixes. She uses it here at a half a percent, but you gotta remember Rin does mix low. She she uh you know she mixes everything low and it's the way she likes it. So you can probably close to double some of these percentages. I don't know if you want to go eight with banana nut bread, but four is a good spot for it. I would try it the way it is, and if you need to bump some of the percentages up, go for it. But you know, she uses banana nut bread at four, she uses the vanilla custard at a half to help accent the Swirl the whipped cream biscuit for a little bit of mouthfeel. I mean, that's a this one that's a legendary mix right there. I mean, she's a legendary mixer to begin with. Uh, vaping home mixers Claire's Bilberry Cheesecake uses it at 1.75 with 2% Vienna cream, uh, vanilla French vanilla deluxe cheesecake from Cheesecake Graham Crust, Bilberry and Blueberry from Flavora. Nice little 12.75% mix there. Let's go to the most recent one because I saw here's my butterscotch RY flavor. It's all flavor mix, obviously. And here I use it, I use it at 1%, and I think that's a good spot for it. Because here you have what do I have? One, two, three, four, five, seven flavors. There's six plus sweetener, and I'm at I'm at five percent flavoring. There, I'm getting my money's worth out of this mix. And that was really delicious. And here's Fidalgo. I still have to mix this Fiddy. I will get to it. I might even do it after these videos. I He uh, tweaked his uh, vanilla tobacco mix a little bit. He used the new uh, flavor. We we'll use flavor blackberry 0.8. Uh, boysenberry at 0.4. Sweet coconut at 0.3. Vanilla custard at 0.6 and the new vanilla tobacco at 0.4. I definitely want to mix this. He adapted it from there. We talked about this and <clears throat> I like what he did here. I, I'm definitely going to mix this up and give it a shot because the first one did come out a little bit dry. So I think I've been, that vanilla custard is really going to give it a look, you know, fill it out a little bit. And here's one it's uh, with caramel and coffee. Uh, TFA Caramel, Inware Coffee, Holy Vanilla Concentrate from Chef's Flavors UK, which I think that's Holy Vanilla, the original Holy Vanilla flavor. Or maybe Holy Vanilla V2, I'm not quite sure. Uh, flavor by Sweetener and the Vanilla Custard at 2. Alright, let's go over here to Inawera. <clears throat> Inawera Custard. Contains acetone, according to Inawera. Median is 2%. In a mix and three single flavor. Here's some standard notes. Uh, Rivals uh, Capella Vanilla Custard V1 at a lower percentage. Use at 3%. And it's as good as Capella at 8. <clears throat> Steep time is less. Uh, this person saying about two weeks. Yeah, between one to two weeks is where you're going to get. It's not really going to get much after two weeks. Uh, let's see. What? Mystic Rose says 3% she uses it at. Mo Fogger Solar tested it at 3. Likely wouldn't call it a custard, more of a toffee. Mm, maybe at 3 solo it's a toffee, but it's a very nice custard in my opinion. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, let's look at some pairings. Scroll all the way through here. Uh, sweetener Custard Premium from FA. Shisha Vanilla in Awara. And we're a biscuit, vanilla custard, V1, sugar cookie, V1, TFA, Bavarian cream, creme brulee, in aware, New York cheesecake, and cheesecake graham crust. Check out some recipes. <clears throat> Here's one of the most recent recipes from Bad Ombre, an orange creamsicle ice cream. Has is it 1.5% with uh, ice cream from SSA. Uh, lemon cream wafer, marshmallow vanilla, orange cream from Wonder Flavors, uh, 0.5 from Super Sweet, and vanilla ice cream from Wonder Flavors. 
I just did something sort of similar to this. I like what that where that one went. Let's see the top rated recipe is actually it's Luke Loops and Session Drummer. I'm not quite sure it's one under Session Drummer, but this is you know Yellow Matter Custard, which is fucking awesome. Uh, cream cheese icing at one, and wear custard at two, custard premium at three, uh, holy vanilla at 1.2, sweet cream at two, TFA sweetener 0.8, flavor was yellow cake and a classic at two. Not quite sure why this is under session drummer's name. All right, let's see. Well, here's what Luke has to say. I'm really chuffed that you acknowledge me and place this on ELR. Glad you enjoyed this. A rating on ATF would be highly appreciated. We're having a comment and discussion session. If you not have an account, it would be awesome. Good job. Thanks for those who have already rated it. Yet, yeah, I'm not quite sure what's going on there. Uh, let's see, a holiday pie from Gotcha Tay. Another excellent mixer. This one's 2018. Anywhere custard being used at 2. Custard premium 2.5. Sugar cookie at 4. And vanilla cupcake, which will give you a nice little nice cake note there. And really nice vanilla. Uh, some biscuit for some mouthfeel. Some graham crust cheesecake. Used a couple different ways there. I see El Vaporino. Three name custard. Jungle Third Bavarian Cream. In a wear custard at three, custard premium at two. So you can see a common trend right there where mixers are using custard premium and in a wear custard together. And you can see they're not doing that with fruits, though. they're doing that with other, you know, darker flavors like the golden butter, the other vanillas, the marshmallows, and stuff like that. So that's what's going on there. Good job. There by El Vaporino. All right, again, back on top. Said two great custards. Nice way to start off this week. If you don't have these two, you can pick them up at Chef's Flavors, or if you're or Chef's Flavors over in the UK, over here in the US, you can pick them up at Bull City. Uh, two that I think you, if you are any type of custard lover, that you should have in your arsenal, because they're two important flavors to have, especially the Inaware. I mean, if Flavor is good, the Inaware one is an absolute must. Alrighty, gang. Happy Monday to you. Be safe. Wash your hands. Don't talk to strangers. We'll see you on the next video. Bye, everybody.